Hi everybody, it's Imogen and welcome back to Colouring Kid. Today's video is going to be around my 1000 subscriber giveaway. I know I'm a bit after the fact because I'm now at 1.1k so I've gained 100 subscribers just quite quickly. Um, as I've mentioned in a lot of videos, I can't believe I've got to this stage and um, this is my way of thanking you. Um, all of um, you who have subscribed and have been watching my videos, I appreciate it so much. Thank you also to everyone who um, has been donating on my Ko-fi page uh, because that's um, obviously a new thing that I started uh, that I mentioned in my um, video where I was explaining the changes to my channel. I've had so many of you just um, generously um, buy me a coffee and uh, I can't wait to see what things we can bring back into the channel. I've also been using the community tab a bit more and it's been lovely chatting with some of you um, over the things that I've been uh, talking about. Um, as I mentioned in my changes to my channel video, um, you can only see the posts if you go on your feed for your subscribers and you do videos and posts. So if you want to keep up to date with those, just change to that tab but yeah so um, I'm going to be doing the giveaway and um, I'm just going to show you what will be included in it so the book that I decided to give away was Flora um, I'm going to show you a couple of examples of pages I've coloured in Maria Charles books in general but Flora is her newest book um, she's coming out with a Botanicum special edition soon which has eight new pages in but I figured because Botanicum was a while ago more people would have that she's also coming out with a new coloring book in autumn I think which is different usually her new ones come out in the spring which is why her botanical ones um, coming out again with the new images um, but Flora is a gorgeous book and it's her newest one that came out last spring and um, I thought I would just do a quick flip of it for you so this is um, the a brand new edition that you will get Actually, you know what, I'm going to keep this absolutely pristine. Oh no, never mind. I will do this one. I'm going to say, otherwise mine will have had a um, colour picture in it, so it won't be absolutely brand new. So the thing I really like about uh, Maria's style in this book is that she's got uh, some simple pages and uh, some more detailed pages. There's a really, really nice mix. And also she's kind of come away from doing just flowers. There's uh, lots of um, animals and people in this, which is really good. So if you like doing skin tones um, and you like playing around with um, drawing people, then this is great. The other thing I really like is that there's um, lots of black backgrounds in um, her books now. She used to not do that many, but she's got loads. And it's, she's come away, I think, from her uh, original style. She's still got her style, obviously. You, you can tell it's Maria Shaw from a mile off. But um, there are certain bits about um, her work that are um, a bit quirky and a bit different. Like this page I really like because it is kind of her traditional style. Um, and then she's kind of added other bits I'm sure many of you have seen this book and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love that fox horn. The paper is off white as well, so um, it will work really well with your pencils. It's not a bright white. But there's so many new things in this book, and sometimes I think with books they can get a bit repetitive. Ooh. But she has come up with some lovely new ideas and even repeated things that we loved in her previous books. That reminds me of Peter Rabbit. I really like that one. And it tells you all of the plants, um, plants or flowers in the back. Um, you just have to translate them. But yeah, so this is the English edition published by Gib Smith. So you can win this and also I've included some extra things in um, the giveaway. So um, I'm going to be uh, giving a, an enchantment which will be personalised with um, your name on it. Um, I really, really like these. Um, they're amazing. Um, so Joanna Basford, I think they came out at the end of 
last year because I think I got them for Christmas um, and they are little tag ornament things you can do whatever you want with them um, you could hang them up on a Christmas tree you could hang them up on a door or something or you can use it as a tag um, I'll leave it up to you um, but they're gorgeous and you can colour them as well so on this side it's got some gold foiling and on the back it's plain so uh, these are lovely and they're such a great gift so if you wanted to give um, someone the box of them as well that would be a great idea as a present and the other things is I'm going to be uh, giving a range of postcards now these are from lots of different postcard books and I've picked out a couple that are varying that um, I think might be uh, quite nice and they're from lots of different illustrators as well so it's kind of like um, a kind of mini colouring book-ish thing of postcards um, so the first couple are from Marja Safstrom if you don't know who she is she's done the animal compendium books that I colour out of quite a lot they are not intended for colouring books um, so they're not intended to be colouring books but I do use them um, however these postcards are intended to be colouring postcards so um, they I think they were called um, postcards to colour but yes yeah, so we've got the snail one the otter one which is one of my favourites of hers just because that's on the front cover of her thing and it's so cute and these all have little facts to go with them as well got the sloths and the chicken as well so that's Marja Safstrom then I've included one of the Joanna Bassford Association ones I got these quite a while ago um, and I've actually coloured lots and lots of them so I don't have many left but I thought this would be nice to include because it's an off-white card um, as you can tell so this is bright white this is off-white and these are actually postcards so you can put the um, address and then write something on here oh and these ones are the Major Safstron ones are as well so they're all designed to be postcards if you wanted to send them then I have included a couple from Minnie Marotta. Um, many of you uh, obviously know her. Her work is very unique and quite detailed. So these I think might be from various um, postcards. So this one's from the Wild Savannah. These are bright white as well. I think this is from Wild Savannah as well. Yeah, I think they all are actually. So we've got the zebras here. I really really like this one. I think the zebras are so cute and you don't have to just do them black and white. You can do them in a rainbow or something. Um, yeah, and this one's Wild Savannah. So, a couple there. Then I have a couple from some flower postcards which I think were the RHS ones. Um, but I did them for my mum and my grandma last year or this year for uh, their postcards each month so we've got this one and this one and again these are designed to be postcards which is lovely um, this is very seasonal obviously um, they're gorgeous I don't know if it says anything yeah they are the RHS ones but um, if you like flowers they're great uh, then I have another uh, flowery postcard and this one's by Maria Chaw as well so you know Maria Chaw, Maria Chaw which is nice um, this was one of the ones that I had left over because I'd done uh, these for my mum two years ago now I think for her postcards and um, it was a set of 20 and I'd used 12 of them and some of them were already coloured as well they were photos um, so this was one of the ones that I personally I, I do like and I think it's nice to have the difference of the black background compared to the white ones so this one is a bit different to the others which is lovely and the colours all really pop and finally I have two from Hannah Carlson one is from her winter winter dreams and one is from her daydreams one yeah so we've got um, these two and again I did these for my mum um, and my grandma and um, I had quite a few left over so I thought I'd include some of these these are fairly big they're kind of the norm the normal size these are all kind of the same size and then some of them are a bit smaller so um, you know if you did want to frame them they probably would be all varying sizes but yeah, so I will wrap these up very carefully and you will also have these included. So the last thing that you will get is a coloured picture. 
that I have done. Uh, I always like to do this just so that the um, uh, the winner gets a more kind of personalised um, thing included. But um, it's just something that I enjoy doing and um, a thing that I like to do to give back to to you. So um, this is um, what you have to do to enter. I'll just put them here. You can have a um, read if you can see it but before I go through them I'm just going to show you an example of a page that I have coloured in Flora. Um, I know it's kind of after the fact but uh, this was one that I did for Christmas last year um, and I actually used some gel pens and uh, metallic gel pen and stuff and they didn't go through. Um, I guess because of the gel pens are very juicy, they shadow, but they don't bleed through, which is great. The paper is um, very thick. And I use pastel in the background, no problem at all with this. The only thing I would say is that I, I don't know... Oh yeah, this is the Gibsmith one as well. So the um, paper, I think, has actually changed. So the paper used to be quite toothy. Um, it wasn't my personal favourite paper, but now they've changed it and it's a really nice... Um, still with a bit of tooth but it's much thicker and also it's smoother which is lovely so um, these are the rules so it's starting today on the 15th of March and ending in two weeks time on Sunday the 29th of March I will then uh, do a video probably on the Monday drawing the winner um, hopefully it'll be around then I'll update you on the community tab um, anyone can enter, but please make sure you're subscribed so it's fair for all of you. Um, I think it's just better if, um, you know, we're um, all part of my channel and so that everyone has a fair opportunity because um, you are subscribed. Um, so as I said, so this is what you'll receive, which I've already gone through. And to enter, if you can tell me in the comments what your favourite colouring book is, then I know if you're wanting to enter the giveaway or whether you're not. So if you don't want to enter, just do an, another comment. I'd love to hear from you anyway. Or you can just say, I don't want to enter the giveaway, just to make sure. Um, but if you do, please tell me what your favourite colouring book is. And you can tell me more than one if you wish, because if there's more suggestions and things that um, you have, maybe there are more books that I haven't heard of. So they are the rules. And... Again, you will receive the Flora book, a Joanna Basford enchantment, a selection of colouring postcards and a coloured image by me. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you are having a great weekend and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.